Let's talk about the sissy strut, ladies and gentlemen. My band, the Rios, informed me that there was a bit of a debate about whether you should play it with one hand on the hi-hat or two. And I just thought, I just always assumed he played it with one. So I've been playing it that way for 20 years, I guess. Turns out you can play it with two hands. I figured it out. And I can't, the thought came to me, I need to be able to do both of those efficiently and in the pocket. And so I've been working on it a little bit. And I think I got it. But what I want you guys to really listen for is how different each one sounds, even though I've put effort into putting it in the pocket for you and doing it the best I can do it. It is still two different representations of that song. So I brought around my good friend Clay. He's going to play the guitar riff for us. I want you guys to pay attention to the feel. Clay, you ready? I'm going to play two bars by myself, and then Clay will come in too. Three, four. Now, let's do it with two hands on the hi-hat, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta give me a second. It's hard to flip the switch for me to just go straight from one to the other, which brings up another point. I've practiced it a little bit, like doing four bars of one, four bars of the other, just back to back. It's tough on the old boy, okay? So, here we go. One, two bars by myself. One, two, ready, go. see what I'm saying there they're both great to me I like playing it both ways but they're both very different so think about that stuff if you can't play that sissy strut beat do it man I'm telling you it's a study in linear drumming it's a study in the pocket it's a study in simplicity so we're gonna hit this outro for you <laughs> 